Mukarama Saido is the wife of Mohammed Tajuddin. Mohammed Tajuddin was one of the two persons who lost their lives in the Techiman South constituency after being hit by warning shots from security personnel. The incident also got six others injured. 18-year-old Abdullah Ayark is another victim. His father, Yusuf Amalo, is not happy with the turn of events. It's quite a long time we didn't hear any justice as now, up to date. So we are just appealing to the government to bring the justice. But up to date, we haven't heard anything from the government. The incident started after a misunderstanding ensued over the declaration of the election results. The new patriotic party's Martin Ejemen Sakosa was declared the winner in the polls, sparking agitations from some NDC supporters. The NDC maintains that it won the parliamentary polls in the area. As a result, the party is in court protesting the results as announced by the Electoral Commission. Yusif and Mukarama have been sharing with City News how their loss has terribly affected their lives. They came to our list and then they came and then say that they want to come and then tell us that they will follow the matter. But after that, we haven't heard anything from them. So we are just telling waiting for the government to bring the justice to the family. The families were brought together at the 48th birthday celebration of the National Women's Organizer of the NDC, Hannah Bisu. She said she was not happy with the handling of the matter which happened eight months ago. They shot, they killed. Up to date, no justice has been done. How disappointing is this and what does this speak of the Afropoda government? No, it's very, it's very disappointing because as a government, what you need to give to the people, the first, your first duty is to secure us as security. But this government is making everything possible to take away our security and our peace of mind in this nation. Justice has become an, um, a thing of the past as far as or as long as, or as far as the Kufado's government is concerned. Justice means nothing. They've deleted it from the additionary and from the advocates. Violence has become the order of the day. Injustice has become the order of the day. A member of parliament for Techiman South earlier announced a package for the affected families, but it appears the families want more than material things. <laughs> No one is better than someone, you understand? So if anything happens, we know that government is the control of everything. So once we are, we are, in, we are Ghanaians, so what, if anything happens now we are Ghanaians, the government must con take the control of everything. So that for every Ghanaian to know that the government has done the justice thing to all of the people of the Ghana. Well, we don't want this thing to happen again. It is going to continue like this. It will be on some generation for some time. Every time, if another government comes on power, it will, it can take another decision and then do the same thing. And then Ghana, we, we must stop this from this. There is no need that we should continue from this again. We have to stop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are appealing to the government that it should bring the justice so that this one should end up. At, the, at, at this year. Beyond the monies given to the families, the house that is being built for them, they want justice to prevent future occurrences.
I am Kojo Ajaman reporting for City News.